Okay, what's up, YouTube? I'm back another. I'm back another lesson. Um, this is going to uh, pretty much piss a lot of you all off. You know what I'm saying? But I, I gotta do it. I gotta wake you all up to show you that we are the guardian of the galaxy. We are. We are in everything and above everything. Now, what I'm gonna do is. We're going to read. We're going to read and connect this stuff. And watch how all this stuff starts connecting for you. Okay? So let's go to this movie called The Shape of Water. Right? They, they came out with, Hollywood came out with a movie called The Shape of Water back in 2017. Right? And the movie, here, here's, here's what they have. The Shape of Water. Right? And it says here that this is a plot. Right? It says in 1962... Um, I'm sorry, it says, uh, let's see, it says, the movie is set in Baltimore, Maryland, in 1962. The story follows a mute cleaner at a high-security government laboratory who falls in love with a captured humanoid amphib amphibian creature. So, they say that the, the creature, is a, he's a uh, humanoid amphibian, right? Someone who lives in the water. He's a human and he lives in the water. Right? Okay. Now, let's keep on going. Now, now check it. Now, check it. Now, follow me now. Now, watch. Now, listen to this. Okay. All right. So, let's go here. Okay. So, if you ever go back and watch this movie called The Shape of Water, right? And they have a scientist called Robert Hofstiler who was really a Soviet spy named Dmitry uh, Mozikov, please unsuspectedly to keep the amphibian man alive for further study, and at the same time, is ordered by his Soviet handlers to euthanize the creature, or that means to give pain, right? Or trying to end his life, okay? Now, you can read about this on your own. It's called The Shape of Water. So... Let's keep them. Now let's go back. Let's go back to history. Let's see where they get, where they got this from. Somebody had that. So where did Hollywood get this idea from? What we call the shape of water. Where did they get this from? Let's go back. Let's keep on going. Let's, let's do some digging. Okay? Let's do some digging. Okay. It says here that listen to this. The idea. For the shape of water formed during Del Toro's breakfast with Daniel Krauss in 2011, with whom he later co wrote the novel Troll Hunters. Listen to this. Uh, it says he was inspired by Del Toro's childhood memories of seeing creatures from the Black Lagoon. Okay, so they got this from, from, okay, they got it. So it stems from this, called the Creature from the Black Lagoon, right? Creature from the Black Lagoon, okay? And what is the Creature of the Black Lagoon about? The Creature of the Black Lagoon, it says the Creature from the Black Lagoon, it says a geology expedition in the Amazon covers, uncovers fossilized evidence a skeletal hand with web with web fingers from the Devonian period that provides a direct link between land and sea animals. Okay, now look at the creature, right? This is what they have. They have it. So this is a humanoid amphibian, right? And look at this color, green. Okay, so it's a Piscini humanoid amphibian, right? Now, check this out. Okay, check this out. Let's keep on going. Um, so where did they get this from? Where did they get this shape movie called Shape of Water from and the Black Lagoon and things like that, right? So you got the Black Lagoon, and then you have here, uh, in 1956, The Creature Walks Among Us. Uh, it's the third and final installment from the Black Lagoon. And look at the creature. Right, I want you to see this. Uh, let me lighten this up some. 
I'm gonna click on some 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 images so you can see this. But the creature's a dark green, dark greenish, and it's red to lip. I mean, his, uh, his his lips are red. Now let's go here to the Dogon people. The Dogon people in their religion says that uh, the native faith of the Dogon is a complex, adam, uh, animistic religion with strong emphasis of ancestor worship. The belief in various gods, spirits, and other supernatural beings, as well as the belief in the afterlife, or the spirit world, are elements, are basic elements in the Dogon religion. Listen to this. Um, the key spiritual figures in the religion were the Nomos. The Nomo twins, right? The Nomos. The Nomos, okay? The Nomos are ancestral spirits, sometimes referred to as deities worshipped by Dogon people in Mali, right? The word nomos derived from a Dogon word meaning to, to make one drink. The, the, the nomos are usually described as amphibious, hermaphroditic, hermaphroditic fish-like creatures. You see that? This is where they got that from. They got it from the Dogon people. Um, it says the nomos are also referred to as masters of the water, the monitors, and the teachers. You see that? This is where they got the shape of water from, the Dogon people, the Nomos, fish-like people, right? The Dogon reportedly, uh, the Dogon reportedly related to uh, Granuliel and uh, uh, Dajalan a belief that the Nomos were inhabitants of a world circling the star series. You see that? The Nomos descended from the sky in a vessel accompanied by fire, fire and thunder. After arriving, the Nomos created a reservoir of water and subsequently dived into the, dive into the water. Okay, so this is where they got the this is this is where they got the um uh, the movie uh Shape of Water from. They got it from the Dogon religion. The Dogon people. The Dogon people said that, that the people from the Star System series came here. Now, I'm going to draw something else up on you. Now, let's, take on, let's look on some of these images, right? It just says the creature from the, uh, what is this? The creature from, the creature walks among us, right? The creature walks among us. Let's click on some images, right? <laughs> and remember, I said this is Hollywood bullshit, right? This color is green. Let's go to the, the Predator. And the predator, what color does the predator bleed? Green. And what is the predator able to do? What are some of his powers? He can blend in. He can, he can shape shift with the chameleon. Right? Let's go back here. The predator. It's all going back to y'all. It's, it's all going back to black folks. Okay. Let's go here to uh I'm not making this stuff up, people. I'm not making it up. Nineteen eighty seven predator. It's 1987 Predator right here. Let's go back to the old one. Uh, Kevin Peter Hall, he played the Predator. And what is what was some of the Predator's uh, powers? What, what could he do? Okay. Um, but they got the Predator looking like a looking like a monster, but he's a human. But they gotta make him look ugly. They're, 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 this, this is racism. Okay, let's see here. So you got the predator, right? And I say he bleeds green, right? Okay, 
to see you. Uh... Okay, so here it is. The credit, the credits of visual, uh, visual effects, right? Uh, it says that the original Predator of Creature was created by Richard uh, Ellen of Boss Film Studios and was disproportionate, ungainly creature. Was it uh, was a disproportionate, ungainly, ungainly creature with large yellow eyes and a dog-like head. Okay, now they said he had yellow, large yellow eyes. And when you go here to the creature from the Black Lagoon, right, and you click on the images. Um, let me let me give me give me a second. Let me uh. Let me close out some of these windows. So you got the you got the creature from the Black Lagoon, right? The Black Lagoon, and we're gonna click on images. And it said the predator had yellow eyes, right? Like like reptory eyes or whatever, right? But this is mockery. They make a fun of you. You're not just you're not just uh, uh, so-called humanoid beings, human beings that we see walking on land. They said that this dude that that this being was able to walk on land and live in the water, right? So this is Hollywood garbage, man. This is trash. They're making, they're making fun of you. Black men and black women. Okay, so let's keep on going. Now, check this out. So you got here the creature from the Black Lagoon. And look how they, look at what they have. They got them in green, all green, and the big lips, the big red lips. Now, remember, Okay, so they give you shit like this, right? Green, web fingers, and with the big, big red lips, right? Keep that in mind. Now let's go back here to uh, the holy tablets. Trying to get you niggas to think. Let me close out some of these windows. So we know that they got the movie The Shape of Water, The Black Lagoon from the Dogon people, right? Okay, let's close out some of this. Okay, so now we have... Let's go back here to the Holy Tablets, right? The, you got the Green Lantern. This is all about us. You got the holy tablets, right? Chapter one. Okay. We're going to the uh, beginning. Okay. I just I just did a lesson. I just did the last lesson, and it says here, uh, chapter uh, verse four says, "Let me start by telling you about the beings that existed trillions of Earth years ago, before the Precambrian period." Before you, human beings were created in, in the physical form upon the planet called upon the planet Tiamat, now called Earth, from the word Iridu. There existed supreme beings of pure green light, ethereal, and sub supreme beings of the impure amber light and fire. So he says pure green light. Let's go back here to the Green Lantern. Right? 
Green Lantern. Okay. The Green Lantern, right? It's going back to you. Now, let's go back here to um um let's go back here to the creature from the black lagoon, right? So they put stuff up like this, right? This is all Hollywood bullshit. They put stuff up like this, right? All grain, web fingers and things like that. Big with the big lips. Okay? With the with the big lips and things like that, right? Go back. Now, watch watch how I connect this for you. Okay? But they put stuff up like this. They can't put the truth out there. They can't do it. They won't do it. They put stuff like this, right? Now, let me, now, just think about this. Now, just look at this, right? So, they got them in all green, right? And they got them with the big red, with the big red lips. Now, let's click on the image and watch what they, what, how they've been playing the whole time. I want you to comment down below in the, in the comment section. This is the shape, the movie called The Shape of Water has been exposed. This is talking about black folks. Okay? Now, they got the creature from the Black Lagoon. Okay? There's like a swamp thing. Right? They got the creature from the Black Lagoon with the big lift. Now listen, now look at this. I got, I typed in racist comments, Negroes eating watermelons. Right? Now look what they got. Big lips, red, big red lips. Well, do you see a connection here? Okay. Now, if you look at the word watermelon, watermelon, right? Melon, watermelon, melanin. They're telling you right here in the word. It's, it's been crypt. It's been it's been cryptic. It's cryptic. You got to decode this shit. So we know that water is a form of H two O. Right? Melon, melanin. Who are melanin beings? Black people. So watermelon. This ain't got shit to do with this goddamn fruit. They're telling you that watermelon, melanin, watermelon. Carbonated melanated beings live in water. These are your water watermelons. Watermelon. Watermelon. These watermelons or these carbonated beings live in water. Look at this. Get rid of the fruit. Melon. Think about the picture. Uh, get the word in your head. Watermelon. They're telling you the whole time. They're making fun of you. So they're telling you that you are a being of, of melanin and you used to you you, used to, you live in water. You used to live in water. Or you do live in water from another planet. They say you can't. The Dogon people said that that the Nomos came from the star system series and they live in water. They were humanoid creatures, hum, humanoid amphibian creatures. This is where your shape. This is where your movie, your your movie Shape of Water comes from. So they got a doctor in this shit up in Hollywood because they can't put the truth out there and say, hey. You got some black people that's, that were that were sea like sea life creatures. I mean sea life people. <coughs> they live in water. Where do you think your uh, uh, Atlantis comes from? The, the Lost City of Atlantis. Talking about t talking about this stuff. Uh, um, Aquaman. What do you think Aquaman is about? What do you think this is about? They say Aquaman, they had a civilization on the water. They can live on the water, breathe on the water. You can't be talking about white people. Look at this. And then look at this suit. Look at this, man. They're telling you clear as day.
green. Why does it always got to be go back to revert back to green? Let's 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 do this. Let's go to Aquaman, right? They said this dude live in water. This is where they get they got it from the Dogon people. They making fun of your ass. Aquaman. Right? King of Atlantis. Ocean Master. Right? You receive the title Ocean Master. Okay? Um. Okay, they're making it. See, look, look, look. They're telling you, look, look. The cast, right? Aquaman. Half Atlantean, half human. He's a half human who was elected to be king of the undersea nation of Atlantis, right? He possesses superhuman strength and the ability to manipulate the tides, communicate with sea creatures, and swim at supersonic speeds. Let's go back here to the, to the Dogon people. Dogon, so we know that, that the people from, coming from the star system Sirius is black folks. They're making fun of, they're making fun of y'all ass. Dogon. And they say this shit is, is mythology. But they had a book that came, that, uh, this white man wrote a book called this, uh, The Serious Star, the Star, the Star, the Star System Serious, Robert Temple. And they tried to, uh, get rid of, they tried to get rid of his ass. They said, hey, you, you tell him too much. This book was very controversial. They said, man, you, you talking too much. We got, we got to try to shut your ass up. I got the book at home. You niggas think this shit a game? Constantly laughing at y'all asses. Go back to the Dogon people. Let's go back to what, what they say. They say this shit is mythology. That's what they say. That's what they tell it. They say this shit is mythology. They don't believe, but how is the Dogon able to tell... Uh, uh, Western uh, scientists and astronomers uh, that there was a star that they saw with their naked eye, and then here come the white man years later. Hey, how was it, how was they able to know that stuff? Who told them? The Dogon said, "Hey, some people came from a star, from a constellation, and told us all this shit." So it said to the Nomo people, the Nomos, according to the description. The Nomo, whom we, who we referred to as the serpent court, were amphibians, were amphibious beings. Serpent, lizard, chameleons, and occasionally, occasionally even sloths. Okay? They were the, uh, described as fish capable of walking on land. While they were on land, the Nomo stood upright on their tails. The Nomo's skin was primary, primarily green, but like the chameleon, it sometimes changed colors. It was said to at times have all the colors of the rainbow. In other instances, the Nomo were referred to as water spirits. Although the Nomo were identified as the uh, gods of water, right? Uh, O.T. Meli identified the Nomo, the Nomo as hermaphrodites, and they appeared on the female, on the female side of the Dogon sanctuary. Okay? They go and talk about this, this the star, Sirius. Alright? And they, they just made fun of you. That quick. They're telling you, clear as day, the nomos. Right here, let's click on this. They're hermaphrodite, hermaphroditic amphibious creatures. This is, where they, this is where your movie, The Shape of Water, comes from. It says see, that the gnomos are also referred to as masters of the waters. What is masters? Masters of gods. Let's go back to Aquaman. What is Aquaman? Aquaman, it just said Aquaman possesses human strength, the ability to manipulate the tides, communicate with sea creatures, and um, 
swimming supersonic speeds. He's a half Atlantean, half human. Right? Just made funny that quick. Come with this, this racist ass bullshit. Um, um, they come with this racist ass shit. Uh, creature from the Black Lagoon. Come with this racist, this racist ass bullshit. Creature. some of these windows. Okay. Um, creature from the Black Lagoon. Right? They're telling you, they're giving you the, 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 the synopsis, the blueprint. So they had to have gotten, they had to have gotten this information from somebody. Cause they didn't think of that shit on their own. They got it for somebody. This is where your movie Shape of Water comes from. The the Dogon people. Right? We're going to the plot. It says, uh, Lucas calls it the Black Lagoon, a paradise from which no one has ever returned. The scientists decide to risk it, unaware that the amphibious, amphibious gill man, right? Right? They give you they come up with shit like this. Okay? Look at this. This is this is a goddamn shame. They might try to flag this video. But why are they getting pissed off at me? I'm just connecting the dots. You live in the sea, you live in the, it don't matter where you go. You cannot escape black folks. You can't, you can't run from black folks. Or carbon, carbonated beans, melan, melanite, melanated beans. You can't, you can't run from us. Anywhere you go, if you want to go to another planet, you're going to find some black folks there. This is facts. I'm showing where they got, where they got this stuff from. Piscini. And amphibian humanoids appear in folklore and folklore and fiction. So humanoid amphibious. What is an amphibian? Amphibian is a fish who can live in water. Right? This is this the same shit you see what 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 Inky in the Sumerian creation tablet? He was god of the sea. Inky. Right? Okay, here you go, right here. Enki, Sumerian. This is Sumerian god of water, knowledge. Right? And what do you have here? The cylinder seal, right? The goat, the fish. Going back to 2300 BC. Right? Okay. His name is uh, going back to uh, water, meaning life. Everybody is born in water, aren't we? Are we born from our mother's womb? We are, we're encased in water. Okay? The, par the primordial black substance, the, the primordial abyss. Okay? Water. Darkness. E.A. Inky is a short form lord of the water, master of the water. It's absolute. All this shit is connected. Okay? Alright? If you ever 
ever seen a movie called The Abyss? What you think that movie's about? White man going going in the ocean deep underwater? What he found? He found a, a, a spaceship, a civilization living there. Right? the abyss, right? What is the abyss? The abyss, right? You're dealing with water. Okay? What does it say? What is it talking about? There you go with H.G. Wells. Listen to this. H.G. Wells was the first to introduce the notion of a sea alien in his 1897 story, In the, in the Abyss. Right? Let's click on this. In the Abyss is a short story. Let's click on this. And what is that? What is that? He look, what is this he's looking at? Somebody, that's a person. Somebody's right there. Right? called The Abyss, he got this from H.G. Wells. Right? His story describes a journey to the ocean bed and a specially designed metal sphere. The explorers within discovered a civilization of human-like creatures. Wait a minute. They said they're going to the, to the ocean. They're going to the, the deep bed of the ocean. Deep in, deep in the abyss. And they found a human-like human-like creatures down here. Let's go back into uh, go back to the movie called The Shape of Water. Go back to the movie The Creature Creature from the Lagoon. Right? I'm I'm connecting it for you. Let's okay. Let's go back into the abyss. Right? James Cameron wrote this shit back in '89. Whatever. Right? And what's the plot? Let's go to the plot. Here's the plot. Right? They doing, uh, um, what's the name? They doing deep sea diving, deep sea diving, right? And they, they start finding shit. Okay? They, get, they need a special edition. Uh, one of the characters was Bud. He's taken a, taken to an alien ship. They they start showing him images of war and aggression from news sources around the globe. The aliens then create massive mega tsunamis that threaten the world's coast. Okay. Let's go back. So, let's go here to the, uh, they said the abyss, in the abyss, these are human-like creatures. Okay? Showing you where they got this stuff from. Make the connection. Read the goddamn books.
it should, this should make you, it should piss you off. Constantly making fun of you. Um, ah, oh man, I forgot, I've lost my train of thought. Please forgive me, I lost my train of thought. But, I'm showing you, clear as day. Oh, okay, so you got the abyss, right? And let's click on some images. Let's, let's see what they got. Now check this out. Watch this. Watch how I can watch how I connect this way. Watch this. Check this out. I don't want my computer going so damn slow. Okay, so you got stuff like this, right? This is what they, this is what they, their uh, special effects look like back in the day, right? They seeing stuff like this, right? It's like a humanoid. It's like a human face, right? Okay. If you ever seen this movie, check it. You never seen the movie, check it out. Okay? They say somebody was living on the water. Some humans. Who was it? Couldn't have been white folks. It's black people. They said they found a ship on the water. Go, have you ever seen the movie called Interstellar? Interstellar. Right? Interstellar. Okay. Who do you think that this is talking about? Can't be talking about white people. I'm not even I'm not I'm not being racist. I'm speaking straight raw facts. I'm piecing this stuff together for you. Then tell I didn't I didn't connect all of this stuff for you, all of it. Nomos is used to, is used to reference the group the group of beings, humanoid humans. So the movie Shape of Water has been exposed. Just exposed shape of water that quick, giving you references where this stuff comes from. Connecting back to black folks. Because you have multi-dimensional beings. You live on land, you live in water, you live in the, uh, the goddamn galaxy. This is the book. Um... Yeah, 
Series Mystery, right? And we're gonna go over to Amazon. And here, I just book I got at home. The Serious Mystery, new scientific evidence of alien con of alien contact 5,000 years ago. He wrote this book back in 1980, right? And it says convincing evidence that the Egyptian, Sumerian, and Dogon civilizations were founded by aliens from the Sirius star system who are now ready to return. Updated with 140 pages of new scientific evidence that solidifies the hypothesis that the KGB, CIA, and NASA attempted to suppress. I got this book at the crib. An awe inspiring work of research that calls for a profound reappraisal of our role in the universe. Right? He wrote this back in the 1976 publication of the Serious Mystery set the world abuzz with talk of an extraterrestrial origin to human civilization and shook a 15-year persecution campaign against Robert Temple by the KGB, CIA, NASA, and other government official, uh, agencies. You see that? Um, many authors have speculated on the subject of extraterrestrial contact, but never before has such detailed evidence been presented. Temple applies his in-depth knowledge of ancient history, mythology, Pythagorean physics, chaos theory, and Greek to a close examination of the measurements of the Great Pyramids of Giza, which was built to align directly with the star series. He concludes that the alien civilization of Sirius and our own civilization are part of the same harmonic system and are destined to function and resonate together. You see that? I got this book at the crib. See all this stuff is tying into what, I mean, what I'm saying? He said these people are, are about to come back. I'm not making this shit up. I didn't write this. You see it for your own damn self. He said... He said that... Convincing evidence shows that the Egyptian, Sumerian, and the Dogon civilization were founded by aliens. What aliens? From the Sirius star system who are now ready to return. Keep on thinking that shit is a joke. Don't say, I, all I can say, I, I, I almost said I told you. That's all I, that's all I can say. So, it can't be white people they're talking about. They said new scientific evidence of alien contact 5,000 years ago. Who the aliens? Black people, you are the aliens. So what do you expect to see is going to come back? An uh, older version of yourself. An older version of yourself. Now how are you going to debunk this? You can't. Just broke down that movie The Shape of Water with scientific evidence and proof from different religions around the world. They, they put this racism bullshit up here. Don't think niggas gonna don't think a nigga like me gonna figure this shit out. You a goddamn fool. You you motherfuckers are crazy. Y'all, boy, this shit is ridiculous. This don't make no goddamn sense. Crazy man. Crazy. Put this racism bullshit up here. And and put these wor these words in crypt and uh, uh, cryptic format like we can't like nobody's gonna be able to decode this shit. Melon, what a melon, melon. This is melon, man. Come on, man. Watermelon. And they and they they put their watermelon and give it to and, and put and place this upon Negroes, black people. This ain't got shit to do with no damn fruit. They telling you Negroes that that somebody used to live in water, so-called watermelons. Come on, man. Who you think you fooling? You niggas better piece this shit together. These white folks ain't no dummies, but they know the average Negro ain't gonna pick up a damn read, ain't, ain't gonna pick up, pick up a book and read a, a goddamn thing.
But it's all good. Like I said, when this shit come to a, to a halt, when it come to a, to an end, I'm going to sit back and say, I told you so. You niggas don't want to believe me. So, Shape of Water, the movie Shape of Water comes from the Dogon people. The Dogon's uh, belief, the religion. And they tell us that the shit is mythology, bullshit. This shit was real. The gnomos are referred to as master of water. Uh, uh, the gnomos are amphibious, human, human people. Amphibious, they live in water. I hope you all take something from this. Click subscribe, comment down below. You know what I'm saying? And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.